<sighs> so much to do, so little drive to do it. They say when you stare at a computer screen, you blink up to 60% less. That tends to cause eye strain. Yeah, the only productive thing I did today was go to the pharmacy, pick up that prescription the boss filled out for me. I'll worry about it in the morning. Once a day, before work, nasally. Nasally. I'm going to work today.
Yeah, hi. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Listen, huh? I'm not gonna be able to finish by tomorrow. It's not gonna, it's, it can't happen. I, I know you have the presentation tomorrow, but I, I physically can't do it anymore. I'm having a drug reaction here. What? Yes, sir. Hey, buddy, you doing all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? You look a little off. I said I'm fine. This is an informational video about the drug tryptocaine. This is tryptocaine, an odorless blue powder that's available only by prescription. Despite being derived from organic compounds, such as tryptophan or cyclosporin, tryptocaine is, without a doubt, a purely synthetic substance. It was initially developed as a drug to aid in concentration, in an effort to compete with Adderall. However, it was found that inhaling tryptocaine through the nose could cause mild, unnoticeable irritation to the eye and tear ducts, causing the user to blink more. Now, the important thing to remember about tryptocaine is, it is first and foremost a drug. And like all drugs, there's always the risk of dependency and addiction. On top of that, the side effects for prolonged use and overuse of tryptocaine include, but are not limited to, swelling of the eyes, dilation of the pupils, hallucinations, and bleeding from the eyes and nose. However, despite all of these dangers, tryptocaine is still readily available at pharmacies all across the nation. <laughs>